how's it going? I didn't see you there. I was just camping with my middle-aged wife. Anyway, today we are busting into some more Road to Master Ball rank. Um, I'm excited. We had a pretty good time in the first episode. You should definitely check that out if you haven't. But we are going to be attempting to climb the ladder again today. So, hopping right into rank battles. Um, we won the first three, uh, which sets our record to five wins and two losses. I did four battles before starting the series, which is why. But... Let's get ourselves into some single battles. Um, I am definitely bringing a similar team because um, I feel like it's worked out for us so far. I am going to try to kind of vary the teams um, throughout episodes, but we're going to give this another shot. I figure we could try to get the the Rain Boys to do something. I would like Beriskuda and Pelipper to come along with us. I also did, I switched the Galarian Rapidash with Grimmsnarl. Um, I think that just Grimmsnarl has a lot of options to be able to set up bulk ups. And it's honestly pretty damn unstoppable once you get a Prankster bulk up. So, we're going to go for it. We are still Pokeball, Pokeball tier. I honestly have no clue kind of how the ranking system works. I guess we're going to have to really figure that out. But an opposing trainer has been found. And uh, let's get it, boys. So, we are able to see what they're going to bring. So, we see definitely a scary team. So, we see a Cinderace, uh, which is probably coming. Corviknight. A Dragapult, obviously, because Drag you kind of you have to bring Dragapult. And there's a Mimic you. Um, this is something I expected to see in ranked battles quite a bit. Uh, they basically are able to get a, just like a free Swords Dance with that ability is kind of annoying. And then a Rotom Mo. So I'm expecting probably Cinderace, Dragapult, Mimic you. I think Mimic you does really well. Um, my team does not like that very much. I think we might even just try to switch it up today. Let's let's start off here. Let's bring let's bring Pelipper as a lead. We want to bring that thing. Um, I will. I think I'm going to hold off on bringing bringing Dragapult. Um, let's definitely bring Grim Snarl. And do we bring Beriskuda just for the rain, or do we bring Dracovish? Hmm. I think we want to bring Dracovish. But then bringing Grimmsnarl, I mean, we just don't get any swift swim with that. But it could, <laughs> it could work out for us. I don't know. This is this is a scary matchup. Um, I'm a little bit afraid. We have Grimmsnarl for his Dragapult. We're just gonna go with it. Let's let's bring the Pelipper lead, get up the rain, and then we can kind of hope that uh, if we get Dynamax Dracovish, we can do some serious damage. So, first battle in episode two. Let's see if we can uh, keep this undefeated, which is probably unlikely, but we're all in it for the fun here anyway. So, she got a big-ass hat on, and she leads with the Corviknight, actually. Um, so, did not expect the Corviknight lead. Um, I don't really know what this thing wants to do to me. We're going to just get up the drizzle, and I might just go right for a Hydro Pump. Try to get some damage off here. I don't. I really don't know what this thing wants to do. Um, I know a Hydro Pump in the rain is going to be great. He doesn't have anything other than the Rotom Mode that could come in here. But I don't think that that... I don't think they brought the Rotom Mode. Um, the Dragapult could come in. But we're just going to click Hydro Pump and just try to get some solid damage here. With the Choice Specs, Pelipper does hit pretty damn hard. They are actually going to switch. So we'll be able to see what they're going to bring in here. It is, <laughs> it is the Rotom Mo. Oh man, so that is unfortunate. Did not expect to see the damn lawnmower. Well, the Specs Hydro Pump in the rain still does just an insane amount of damage. And that is pretty dang good. So now we can go ahead and we can switch into Grimmsnarl. Um, Rotomo's probably just going to go right for the Thunderbolt or, or a Volt Switch. Um, we can't really switch into Dracovish here. They decided, I assume they probably just brought the Rotomo because... Um, just because they saw the opportunity for a rain team, so... I'm very glad we were able to hit that Hydro Pump. Now we're going to switch into Grimmsnarl. It's actually going to Volt Switch, so good play there. Volt Switch does a lot of damage. Damn. Well. So the, the Rotom Mo is going to still be hanging around. And that thing is actually quite the problem to my team. I just really did not think that the Mo freaking Rotom was coming. Alright, so maybe we're going to be see able to see the next slot here. Yeah, it is going to be the Mimikyu. Um, and Mimikyu is very scary. This thing is likely just going to go ahead and Swords Dance. We might have a bad time against this thing. I don't want a Sucker Punch. Um, this thing could just kill me with a Play Rough, actually, as well. Man, I think my best bet here 
is to go for the Darkest Lari and then potentially Sucker Punch. I don't see this thing wanting to set up more than one Swords Dance, but if it does, we are going to be scary. This thing is not the best for my team. So let's just go ahead and click Darkest Lari here. Uh, see what this thing wants to do. I would like to be able to break this thing's disguise. Does go for the Swords Dance. So we have a chance to be able to get some Sucker Punch damage off on this thing, but if it decides to just keep on Swords Dancing, it is not going to be good. Also, this thing can Dynamax. Uh, which could be very bad. So we bust its decoy. Which is great. Go ahead and snap your neck. And I think we have a pretty bad matchup here, honestly. But just but the fact that that Rotom Moe is still around. Oof. Well, we're going to click Sucker Punch here. This thing is likely going to... Man, I don't think we even have anything once this thing sets up a Swords Dance. So that is not good. We're just going to have to Sucker Punch here. There's really nothing... We can do. Yep, there's the Dynamax. So, well used Dynamax turn there. Mimic U is something that I should probably consider kind of trying to counter. Uh, in these ranked battles, I have heard that these things, these boys are around. So, the good news about it going for the Dynamax is that it does have to attack here. So, we're able to get off a of Sucker Punch, but we essentially die here because there's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing that we can take. Uh, the Sucker Punch does not get down to about half. Goes for the Max Starfall. And we are looking dead. So Grimmsnarl cannot do anything to that. And am I about to be? Am I about to get 3-0'd here? I hate Mimic you so much. Ah oh, damn. Well, Mist swirls the battlefield, and now it is time. It does have the Life Orb. I don't think we have anything that can take a hit from this thing. Um, Dracovish does not really want to come <laughs> come in on this thing. It's way too fast. Um, my only bet is, I guess, just to go into Pelipper and try to Dynamax and take a hit from this thing. But with a Swords Dance up, Pelipper is not bulky enough. I don't, I do not, do not know if we're gonna have quite enough for this thing. Well, let's just go ahead and Dynamax. Gonna just hit that Max Geyser spot, and I suppose just see what happens here. Not starting off the best. Considering we're just getting destroyed by this damn Mimic U, but Pelipper about to get huge. I had to at least try to bring the Pelipper and Dracovish combo. I mean, Fish's rend in the rain is insane, but we getting big. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that mouth. Young toilet bowl out here. So, just goes for the Max Phantasm, and that is probably... Oh my god, we lived it with four. <laughs> Pelipper, you absolute legend. The Swords Dance and the Life Orb were able to live it. Thank you to the Dynamax. And the Max Geyser is going to be able to kill the Mimic Mew. That is insane. Well, so that thing is gone. Now we just have to worry about that Mo Rotom, which is actually... Um, obviously a problem for us. Can Dracovish... <laughs> take a hit it looked like it was it, it looked like it did a lot of damage to Grimmsnarl I don't know my damage calcs well enough uh, on these new Pokemon to be able to tell if that was specs damage I, I believe it probably was but in comes the Mo Rotom here and I think we honestly I do not think we're gonna be able to win this one because I mean I was very surprised we were able to even kill that Mimikyu but Pelipper just does not have the correct investment here we can just Hmm, man, you hate to see it. This thing's just going to lock itself into Thunderbolt, I assume. And then all we have is Dracovish, and then he do they do still have the Corviknight. So, we cannot really switch here. Nothing I can do. We're just going to click Max Flutterby. And, uh, well, at least Pelipper was able to <laughs> survive uh, that Mimikyu, which was amazing. So, we go ahead and explode out here, which is dramatic as hell. But they do go for the Volt Switch, um, which is going to bring in the Corviknight again against the Dracovish. So Dracovish pretty much not likely to be able to win this matchup here. But at least we, we had a chance. You never know what might happen though, man. This is Pokemon. So send out young Frankenstein monster. And uh, we just click Fish's Rent here. The rain is not up anymore, which is something I was kind of thinking about, but it doesn't really matter. I had no no opportunity to switch there. We just click Fish's Rend. 
And we basically just hope for the best here. Choice Bandit Ficious Rend is going to be able to destroy the Corviknight. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the Rocky Helmet, though. Can we take an attack from that Rotom Mo? I don't think we can. <laughs> I do not think we can. But it's one-to-one. -one. If I had Stealth Rock up, we would have been set here. Well, time to just click Ficious Rend again because we are Choice Band. Yeah, it's uh, going to go for the Leaf Storm. So that is going to definitely knock me out. So... Unfortunately, the Mo Rotom got the best of us. I did not expect. Did not expect the damn <laughs> Rotom. And it was the reason why I lost. Well, it was at least a closer battle than I thought it was going to be. So we get our first loss of the Road to Rank series. And that is sad. Unfortunately, we're not going undefeated. But we shall continue battling. And let's see if we can... Uh, Let's see if we can make it happen. We do lose some points there, unfortunately. We didn't really lose very much, though. We gotta get out of this damn Pokeball tier. Alright. New opposing trainer has been found. Let's see what we got this time. Hopefully we have a little bit of a better matchup. So, they have the... Ooh, okay. The Hydreigon, along with a Chandelure. Corviknight. Excadrill. Um, the Sylveon and the Toxapex. Um, so, there's definitely some heat there. I think I want to drink... I, I would rather bring the Sash Darmanitan this time. I think that's probably a good play. Um, they have that Sylveon, which is kind of annoying. Interesting. Um, so, Dragapult does well. We can outspeed the Hydreigon. Um, knock that thing out with the Draco. I could also bring Grimmsnarl, which does counter that thing nicely. We're going to lead with Sash Darmanitan. I am going to bring Grimmsnarl as well. And I think Dracovich might not be a bad idea. It's got that Excadrill around. It's also good for the Chandelure. Let's bring Dracovich too. Bring it some absolute heat this time. Uh, I really like Sash Darmanitan lead because, I mean, with Guerrilla Tactics, we got that built-in choice band. So we're able to do a lot and kind of just guarantee that we live a hit anyway, so... I feel like these, these battles kind of come down to a lot of um, kind of just using your Dynamax properly, I feel like. But time is winding down, and let's see. I'm going to predict that they're going to bring the Hydreigon, Sylveon, and Excadrill. That just seems kind of like the best bet. Toxapax is actually not too bad either, um, but I do know that... Doesn't have much offensive presence, and we should be able to be alright against it. So, alright, they lead off with the Toxapex, actually. Which is interesting. So, um, we can just go right for the Earthquake here. But, man, if they switch into a High Dragon there, that's, that's legendary. I might just U-turn predicting a switch. If I U-turn... I could potentially, and they stay in, we'd be kind of in a bad position. I might, I kind of just want to go for an Earthquake. You know, let's go for the U-turn. We're going we're gonna to make the prediction here. Hope that they're going to switch out. Oh, they just go for the Baneful Bunker. Okay, well, we could have just EQ'd there, and that would have been fine. Uh, reluctant to click EQ just because of that damn dragon they got around. And we get poisoned from that, which is annoying because now my focus ash is broken so i <laughs> toxapex you asshole well uh, we are locked into u-turn now not a whole lot we can do um if i set up with the grim snarl we would have a decent time let's just click u-turn again um they know that i'm locked into that obviously we're gorilla i mean i have seen some zen zen mode darmanitans but most of them are just going to be gorilla tactics where they get locked in uh, so we're just going to click that u-turn Assuming this thing's just going to stay in and probably just click Scald. Um, no sense in using the Dynamax here. Or if they switch, it'll give us a bit of momentum and a matchup. But I really doubt that they're going to switch here. Getting poisoned there is annoying. Uh, it kind of just throws away my item. Meaning I could be... Oh, they are actually going to switch. Interesting. Okay, so they bring in the Sylveon here. And, alright. 
So the Sylveon is one of the Pokemon that we do, do not play the best against. Um, Grimmsnarl does not want to take any fairy moves. Dracovish is really my only option here. And it's looking... Looking like I might have to Dynamax. We have to go into the Dracovish here. We do still have the Darmanitan in the back, which is great. Um, we have the EQ against that thing. I don't think that they have... Maybe they didn't bring the Dragon. Well... What is Sylveon? Sylveon's not going to be um, invested in speed most of the time. Kind of just a support Pokemon. But I believe, yeah, we should, should be able to outspeed here easy. I think we just Dynamax. Or do we just Fish's Rend without even Dynamaxing? They could bring in the Toxapex, but honestly Toxapex really does not want to switch in. Let's let's actually just go for the Fish's Rend. Um, quick Attack. Hello? Okay, so with that ability, uh, it does pixelate turns normal moves into fairy moves, and it gets off a quick attack, which really doesn't do much, but now that is a dead Sylveon. So, one down, two to go. We know that the Toxapex is there. There's one unknown Pokemon. It could be Hydreigon, Chandelure, Corviknight, or Excadrill. I think with anything, we should be able to Dynamax, as long as it's not the Dragon. It's going to go into the Toxapex. Well... We are about to show the true power of Dracovish. This thing is probably going to Baneful Bunker, though, honestly. This motherfucker about to Baneful Bunker all up on me. I think I want to switch into Darmanitan. I don't want to risk getting Scald Burnt. Scald, scald burnt. Let's switch into Darmanitan here. We can go for the Earthquake if they do show that they have the Hydreigon. That would be bad, but... I Honestly, I bet they, pro they, I bet they brought it does just go for the Scald here. You would think Scald would be super effective against Ice types. But it is not. Okay, so assuming they're just going to Baneful Bunker here because of the fact that... Um, they can just stall out another Poison turn. But we click Earthquake. If they don't switch into the High Dragon here, um, we can actually Dynamax and then go for the... Yeah, so there's the Baneful Bunker. We show Earthquake. So here's my plan. We're going to show this thing Earthquake. Like, yo, I'm locked into Earthquake here. But what we can do is to be able to switch moves, all we have to do is Dynamax. And if I just click Dynamax Icicle Crash and the High Dragon does come in, I'll look like a genius. But if it doesn't, that still would be decent because we still will be able to do a lot of damage to this thing. So they are going to switch. Check this out. The plays. Is it the Tripod Dragon? It sure is. So... This is how you effectively use Dynamax. <laughs> it's definitely it's one of the more broken uh, things about Dynamax is that you can change moves even if you're choiced. Uh, Darmanitan not being like choiced by an item, but due to its ability, you can still change when you Dynamax, which is honestly insane. So, we get big on him, and now we basically make it hail on this bish. So, that worked out perfectly. And down goes the three-headed dragon. So, all that is left is going to be that Toxapex, and now we've got to, we should be okay. That thing does not have enough damage to be able to knock out Dracovish if it comes down to it. So, I do believe he'll be alright. Also, something I just thought about, if the opponent disconnects, I wonder if it counts it as a win for us. <laughs> I know that it probably will log it as a loss for them, I mean, which you would think it would get the win, but that's something we have yet to come across, the disconnections. But, alright, so in comes this thing. Um, we can just click Max Quick. If this thing does Baneful Bunker, we still get some damage through it. I'm pretty sure it still goes through Baneful Bunker. I know it goes through Protect. Yeah, so there's the Baneful Bunker. Spiky boy. Do not touch the pointy boy. We just go for the Max Quake. And, uh, yeah, digging underground. Yeah, so we do get a little bit of damage through the Protect. Not going to be much. But it's at least still something. And we get the Spadef... <laughs> raised from that as well, which actually helps us against Scald. Uh, this thing's out here getting hurt by the hail as well, but it has the Black Sludge, so you're annoying. Now it's just kind of a matter of time. Darmanitan is out here doing his monkey thing, and we just click Max Quake again. If you don't if you don't get the Protect here, you're kind of in a bad spot, but even no matter what happens, Dracovish um, will be able to finish it off for us. So I'm very glad that I did not Dynamax uh, the Dracovish earlier because it seemed to work out for us. Bringing defensive mons in these is... Okay, there's the Dynamax on their end. Um, bringing defensive mons in this is kind of a, an interesting play. 
It seems like all-out offense would be the better way to go, just in my opinion, but then again, there definitely could be some strategies if you could just get an all-out wall against an opponent's team, you have a good time. I mean, if I had nothing for this, we'd be... I mean, it, on paper, it... Oh, there's the max guard, too. You bitch. Oof. So the max guard, we don't get any damage through, and that's actually... That's actually not great for us. Gets hurt by the hail, also gets a black sludge. And the poison just whittling your boy down. So, we're going to shrink back to normal size, and I believe this means we're locked back into Earthquake still, which I believe is what we're looking for anyway. Um, so, we just stay in, and I think, I don't want to switch here really. I think we just go for the EQ here. We need to get this Earthquake off on this damn thing, so we do. Guerrilla Tactics Earthquake is going to knock it down to the point where Drakovich should be able to do it. So, the Max Geyser is going to be able to knock us out. And that's going to also set up the rain. But at least, hopefully, we've done enough damage to this thing. I don't think it has any other attacking moves other than Max Geyser that it can do against Dragovish. So, getting some more Black Sludge. And, uh, should I just bring in the Grim Snarl? Should I bring in the Grim Snarl for the heck of it? Just to get Dragovish a matchup where there's no Dynamax? I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to play it safe here. I cannot afford to get any damn losses, boys. We're going to bring in the Snarl. And we are going to definitely be able to take at least an attack. So let's Darkest Lariat, and then we can Sucker Punch after. Toxapex, you evil-looking bastard. So the Darkest Lariat almost knocks this thing out. It is going to be able to get a Max Geyser off on us. This thing is Nightmare Fuel. And, alright. So we just click that again. Didn't even need to bring in the Dracovish. Now you're going to get small. I hope you enjoyed your Mega Evolution Z-Move combination while it lasted. This thing is probably going to freaking... It's going to Baneful Bunker here. So you know what? We're going to click Bulk Up. Just to show you, though. We don't care about your games. Yep, there's your Baneful Bunker. Well, guess what? I raise you one Bulk Up. <laughs> this thing is really hanging on for dear damn life. I mean, like I was saying, if you bring Defensive Mons and you get a good matchup where the opponent really just does not have much to touch you with, you could really just whittle things down, especially with Toxapex. This thing is annoying. Well, we click Darkest Lariat here. And that is going to finish it off for us. So, end of Battle 2. We definitely got the momentum there just due to Darmana 10 and Dynamax usage. That was, uh, that was an interesting one. Well, so, at least we're not going 0-3 for this session, which is always good news. So, we shall continue battling. Let's get ourselves, uh, let's get ourselves another good one here. We do rank up, so we get them points back that we lost. We need another win here. Alright, a new opponent has been found. Let's get it, boys. So, let's see what they brought this time. Ooh, we do see the Gyarados, and that scares the shit out of me. So, we have Gyarados, the Koma O, which is also another scary one. Phalanx, the Tyranitar, um, Duraludon. And the Grim Snarl. So, Grim Snarl makes me not want to bring Dragapult, to be honest. This is kind of a scary, this is a very scary team this guy's got here. So, what is the plan of attack? Should we bring the Pelipper and try to get some rain shenanigans? I think I honestly want to. I think the rain setup might not be bad. Should we bring the Barrascuta? Is the Barrascuta a good idea? We, I need to get this freaking rain shit to work. We're going to lead Pelipper. I'm expecting them to lead Gyarados, maybe Tyranitar. I feel like Pelipper has a good matchup here with Hurricanes. Be able to get a lot of solid damage. Let's also bring the Dracovish. We want to bring you the Grim Snarl. It's a little bit, of, a little bit scary. Um, do I want to bring the Barrascuta or do I want to bring my own Grim Snarl? I think I'm going to bring my own Grim Snarl here. Lead Pelipper, Dracovish in the rain is gonna be our gonna be our idea here. Now let's see if we can redeem our first battle where uh 
the drizzle did not really work out for us. Honestly, I, I do just really like Pelipper being able to hit Hurricanes. Guaranteed because of the rain. With that choice specs, able to do a lot. Also, Hydro Pumps and Surfs obviously helps us out. Uh, if they lead Gyarados also, we always assume that those things are going to Dragon Dance. It can't knock us out in one hit. So if we get a Gyarados lead here, we'll be able to just do like over half with Hurricane. And that's what we're hoping for. So they are going to lead actually Grimmsnarl. Definitely not what I was expecting. But we got to make it rain on him. And Grimmsnarl has a couple different options. A lot of the time these things are going to be like Thunder Waving and being annoying like that. Mine is more of an offensive one. Um, I would like to save it. Man, this is not not the ideal lead for us. But I'm still just going to click Hurricane here. We're going to see what this thing wants to go for. I don't think it has anything that can knock me out in one hit. Um, Hurricane will be able to do a lot. I don't want to U-turn because I don't have much to switch into. So let's just click the Hurricane here. It is just going to start setting up the bulk ups. Okay. So, that is scary. It is going to be a similar Grimmsnarl to mine, I'm assuming. Um, we get the Hurricane off, obviously, 100% accurate. And boy, did that do a lot. So, Spex Pelipper coming through. Um, I think I want a Dynamax here, because if this thing decides that it wants to do anything crazy against me, Dynamax is going to allow us to live it. So we're just going to click Dynamax. and go for the Max Airstream here. Bad news is we use our Dynamax early, but the good news is hopefully we don't get swept by a buff troll. So, well, that is the idea. I'm trying to think about what the other two mons they would have brought. I'm thinking probably Gyarados, because that thing just... Seems to always be a problem. And potentially Coma O or Tyranitar. So we're gonna get big. Big old toilet bird. Was happening. Don't believe they're gonna Dynamax, they just don't have the health for it here. Do you have that one bulk up? They cannot click it again. And we are just gonna be able to outspeed and knock this thing out. So down goes your Grim Snarl. Did not want to Dynamax there. I mean, did not need to Dynamax there. But I was just kind of thinking about Sucker Punch. That could have been could have been able to do to, do a lot. Honestly, Grim Snarl scares the shit out of me. So using my Dynamax there was kind of just a defense mechanism. But we do get that speed boost, which is nice from the Max Airstream. And in comes the Skyscraper Boy. So we don't have anything that's very effective against this. But we're just going to click Max Geyser because in the rain, we'll be able to easily outspeed. I don't know what this thing really wants to do to me in return either. So I'm kind of excited to see what this thing's got. I could switch into my own Grim Snarl here. But we're just going to click the Max Geyser. Pelipper doing it to him. So absolutely launch some geysers at you. And that's going to knock you down to red. We don't care what type you are. Now he's going to set up a Reflect. Hello? Why are you setting up Reflects? Okay, well... Helps against physical moves. That is not us. So we just click Max Geyser again. Actually, I'm just going to Airstream. We'll be able to knock this thing out. We'll get another speed boost. And uh, I think that is the idea. For the next matchup, I don't believe the rain is going to be able to stay around, which sucks. So we're going to have to risk a Hurricane. And ooh, this could be bad for us if it's the Gyarados. All right. So we get that speed. And down goes the Duraludon. So, what do you have for me next? Gyarados, Coma O, Phalanx, or Tyranitar? It's going to be the Gyarados. Which is not good. Has Intimidate. Don't know why you set up the Reflect there. So, we shrink back to normal size here. Which is fine. Big Pelipper. Did it too. Oh, so we do actually still have the rain, the rain up. Just kidding. I think we have one, one turn left. Um, we are going to just click Hurricane here. This thing Dragon Dances, it could be bad. Um, but if we can just get the Hurricane damage off here, we actually outspeed, so it's going to need to Dragon Dance. Don't have anything that can knock me out. And we get the confusion. Is Pelipper about to put the team on his back, though? I think he is. Damn it. Gets the Dragon Dance off. But we're still faster because we got the two speed boosts from... Um, from our own... Airstream. So the rain goes away, which is not good. We need to hit this hurricane here without the rain. Please. Pelipper, clutch this for me. I need it. We could really use this hurricane hit here. Uh, so there they're going to Dynamax. No reason not to. 
Um, the one good thing about them going for the Dynamax here is that um, if we do lose Pelipper, if we miss this Hurricane and we lose Pelipper, we could just guarantee Sucker Punch because you can't go for anything other than an attacking move, other than, I guess, Max Guard, but we should be able to just knock it out with a Sucker Punch with Grimmsnarl. So, Pelipper goes first. We do hit the Hurricane, and boys, Pelipper is coming through with the KOs today. That was, in <laughs> that was insane. So, we not e did not even need any help. Pelipper literally do it all himself. So, that was a very quick one. <laughs> that was super nice. Well then. You'll love to see it. Since that was a very quick battle. And, uh... Pelipper, you, you, are, you are a clutch. Oh, we also get ourselves a Calcium. Nice. Well, we're gonna do one more battle, boys. We can check their battle team, but it's fine. We shall continue battling. That would be a great one to finish on. But we do rank up to five. And let's get ourselves one more, boys. I'm feeling confident in the team. Had a nice little rocky start, but we're coming off two wins. So I have I have uh, I have high hopes. So we are gonna get ourselves another match. What do you have for me? So now we're in rank five, so people are getting a little bit more serious. Oh man, so we see Tyranitar, a Togekiss. A freaking Toxapex. Dragapult. Aegislash. Freaking Aegislash. And then the Gyarados as well. This makes me want to bring Pelipper as a lead again. Uh, which I think... Honestly, I think I'm going to do it. Let's let's bring let's bring the Specs Pelipper lead. Um, the Gyarados is super scary. But potentially Beresguda maybe might come. Hmm. Maybe not. What do we... I don't know. If, no, we don't want to bring the Bear Scooter here. We're going to bring Pelipper. Dracovish. Mm, I want to bring... We're going to bring Dragapult this time. You haven't seen anything. And then let's also go for Darmanitan. I think the Sash Darmanitan could save our lives here. So. We're just kind of letting it ride with the, the Pelipper. Honestly, for the most part, I feel like Pelipper is just really great against... Gyarados leads. I'm really my biggest fear is a Gyarados lead, just dragon dancing and then Dynamaxing and then just going for the max airstream to get them speed boost plus the Moxies if it's not intimidate. So we're just gonna lead Pelipper because there's nothing that that thing can do against me. Also, if he leads off with the Tyranitar, which might be a good option as well, um, we have a good matchup there too. So let's go ahead and get it, boys. Battle number four. This man looks serious. And he also has a serious team. So the Toxapex, kind of annoying. Um, his Dragapult could be a threat as well. They are actually just going to lead off with the Toxapex. Um, so that is not too bad for us. This thing really has nothing it can do to us. Uh, we are going to make it rain. If they brought the Tyranitar, they can just come in and get the sand up. But that's fine. Um, I don't think this thing's going to stay in here. But... I really just would like to just get up that free hurricane, to be honest, unless the, unless the T-Tar comes in, which is a risky maneuver. U-Turn would be a great play if they do switch into the Tyranitar, um, but nothing on their team really wants to come into a hurricane. So, I think we're just going to go ahead and click hurricane. Hurricane in the rain, 100% accurate. It is going to do over half to this thing, and it stays in, and we get the confusion. Pelipper is a legend. RNG, please help us out here. Hit yourself. Damn it. Sets up a substitute. What? Okay, I did not expect that thing to substitute. Um, it is going to have the black sludge, so we could get up another substitute if it would like, but we are just going to hurricane again because <laughs> there's really no reason not to. So, interesting. I'm very glad that I didn't go for the U-turn there expecting a switch. Basically, clicking hurricane with Pelper is uh, kind of the way you do it. Seeming like so far, Pelipper is proving itself to be way more useful than I expected. So, uh, Hurricane's going to be able to break this thing's beanbag. There's really nothing Toxapex. Why would you run Substitute on a, on a Toxapex? That is quite questionable, but we'll take it. I mean, a Toxic would have been his best move in that scenario. Maybe Baneful Bucker, I guess, just to see what I was going to do. And then, I don't know what the Toxapex would want. Toxapex would want, other than, like, setting up... Toxic spikes or something. But anyway, go ahead and toss that thing into a hurricane. And what are you going to do? 
You're going to hit yourself in confusion. That's what you're going to do. Damn it. She's going to recover. Well, we are over three on confusion hits, which is annoying. And I'm already starting to hate this damn Toxapex again. But we're just going to click Hurricane because... Honestly, why not? Or do I Dynamax in Hurricane slot? It'll give me a speed boost. I'll be able to be faster than... Stuff. But... Is that what I want to do? I think we're going to get big on him. Let's max Airstream here. Okay, so they're going to switch out. You're going to bring in the Tyranitar here? Aegislash. Okay. Well. I was kind of hoping that that thing was going to stay in. Um, we do still have... It's looking like... Darmanitan's great here. Earthquake takes care of at least those two. So. Very large Pelipper. Again, did not expect Pelipper to be <laughs> getting this much, us much, much usage, but... You kind of love to see it. I bet you there's not a lot of Pelippers running around in the ladder here. But Max Airstream, not going to be able to do too much. But we still get a nice chunk there. And we get that speed boost, which is what we're doing it for. So now we're going to go ahead and click uh, Max Geyser, which is actually we want to click. We want to click the top one. And this thing could basically just protect here. Oh, they're actually going to get large on us also. Okay. A little bit scary. It's always a good thing to know that we have the Focus Hatch Darmanitan in the back, though. So I'm happy about that. But a large Aegislash is scary. So what are you going to do? It's got to attack here, you would assume. Where I don't think it has much that it can really do. It's just going to max guard. You bastard. So it's going to stall out... A turn of my Dynamax, which is annoying. But we're still big for another turn here, so we just click Max Geyser. In the rain, gonna be able to do a lot of damage here. And I don't know if the Dynamax there was a good move. The Max Guard is an interesting dynamic. I do like that that's kind of included in normal move slots. Um, being able to guarantee a protect against Dynamax Pokemon is kind of like one way of leveling stuff out. But the Max Geyser, gonna be able to do a lot. Ooh, and it's got a berry. Man. Well, berry's going to put it, Citrus, up over half. Uh, now he's going to stance change. So, what are you going to attack me with, sir? Just going to go for the max knuckle. Whale heck. That is fine. Pelipper eats that up. Uh, the worst part about it is that this thing just gets an attack boost. The rain stops, and we also are going to shrink. So, um, we've got some stuff to think about here. Pelipper probably doesn't want to stay in here because uh, I am locked into Hurricane. I think going into the Dragapult might not be a bad play. This thing's probably just going to go for a Ghost move, though, uh, which is bad. It's going to be able to just easily knock out Dragapult. But then I could bring back in... Hmm. Yeah, this is a tough call. Do I want to save the Pelipper is the question. I don't think I do, but I also just really hate to stay in here and just click Hurricane, because that is not good. Cannot use Surf, obviously. Uh, what is your last slot? Damn, I think it's Gyarados. I'm going to switch here. Let's switch into the Dragapult. I realize that this is probably a bad play. They're going to go for a Ghost move here and just knock us out, uh, but it will allow me a free switch into Darmanitan. Plus, this is its last turn of Dynamax. Uh, so it actually just goes for the max airstream here. And uh, Dragapult is able to live that. Surprisingly. But it gets that speed boost. And now you are back to normal size. So. We just basically click Shadow Ball here with Choice Scarf. If this thing has Shadow Sneak, we die. Um, but there's really nothing we can do about that. So let's just go ahead and just go for the Shadow Ball. And we need to be able to get in Darmanitan here. Which is my best direct answer to this Aegislash. It's got the attack boost from the Max Knuckle. It's also got the speed boost. It all comes down to if this thing is going to Shadow Sneak me. No, he's actually just going to change into defense form. I'm assuming just to King Shield. Yep. So that is fine. 
I was just going to scout out what I was going to go for. King shielding against, or at least just protecting against the Dragapult does actually give you a decent amount of information. I was able to tell you if you're a physical attacker or a special attacking based one. So he sees from by me going for the Shadow Ball there, obviously I'm a special attacker. And that, uh, that kind of lets him know that he can't really switch into the Toxapex, uh, which is kind of something that would be good against a physical Dragapult if I was, but... We're just going to stay in here click Shadow Ball again. I feel like if he had the Shadow Sneak, he would have gone for it there. Uh, he's going to switch. He's going to be the Tyranitar. The Togekiss. Okay. So. Kiss comes in. is a good switch, but we do know that they are working with the Togekiss, the Age Slash, and the Toxapex. So. Got some stuff to figure out here. Do I want to save the Dragapult? I kind of do. And I kind of want to bring in the Pelipper. Because Darmanitan is an easy knockout against this thing. We can just Icicle Crash it. Let's bring in the Pelipper. We'll be able to save the Dragapult for later. We know that's an easy answer for the Aegislash. It's also great against the Tox Specs too. So, Pelipper is not all that needed. It was kind of here uh, against the Gyarados if they did decide to bring it. Uh, they're just going to go for the Air Slash. Should be able to take at least one of those. Yes. And, uh... Pelipper, Pelipper's just going to go down here, but it's fine because we don't really... I would like to just get some guaranteed damage here. Let's just surf in case um, Aegislash wanted to come back in on a hurricane. But we get the surf off. Spec surf is just going to be able to... Ooh, I should have clicked Hydro Pump. Hot damn. That almost did it. Well, Pelipper, Pelipper goes down. But we should still be okay here. So... Now we know that this thing is easy to take care of. We could just go into Darm. Um, we saw that it's leftovers. I could also go Dragapult and just knock it out with another Shadow Ball. But I kind of want to go Darmanitan. Do I want to risk the Icicle Crash Mist, though? I think we go Dragapult. And that last Shadow Ball... Did put this thing in range to be able to knock it out. Man, if I clicked Hydro Pump there and hit, that would have been insane. But we are just going to Shadow Ball here. Togekiss, you fairy flying type cloud. Looking happy over there, but you about to die. You don't have anything that can switch into this because we know your team. They have not seen the Darmanitan in the back of my team. So we're keeping, we're keeping that boy in the back pocket. I also realized last episode I said I was like, I have the Rapidash in the back. I had a perfect opportunity to say I got the horses in the back, and I, I fucking blew it. I absolutely just, I blew it. <laughs> Someone commented that, which I appreciated. All right, what are you going to do here? Got a lot of thinking to do. They are just going to stay in. Shadow Ball, going to do a Shadow Ball thing. I do actually really like the animation for Shadow Ball in this game. All right, so down goes the Togekiss. There's two left. It is going to be that Aegislash. And the Pex, which Toxapex can come in and take one Shadow Ball, I believe, um, and knock me out. But as long as just Darmanitan has the matchup, we're pretty much guaranteed to win due to the Focus Ash. Which is great, because um, it's nice to not have to worry about entry hazards a lot of the time in this game. Alright, so the Toxapex, we're just going to Shadow Ball. We're not going to play any games against this thing, because we know that it substitutes and shit. So we just get that guaranteed Shadow Ball damage. Does a decent amount. It's actually just going to Toxic, too. Well, if we can just get this thing into range where Earthquake knocks it out from Darmanitan, we should be okay. Which is why now I wish I had Choice Band Darm. But we still should be fine. Uh, they're definitely going to Baneful Bunker here, so it's not going to end up this matchup with much health. But the Baneful Bunker could be predicted. We could go into Darmanitan here. And then save the Dragapult. But is it worth even doing that? Do I just stay in and Shadow Ball and let Dragapult die and then guarantee Darmanitan to come in? And retain its Focus Ash? I believe we do. I think we're gonna actually... We're gonna, we're gonna switch into Darm. The Baneful Bunker is an obvious play here because the Poison knocks me out next turn. Seeing as I stayed in there and Shadow Ball last turn, I assume they're not gonna go for an attack here. Oh, actually just recover. Okay, well same thing. Same, same, but different. We do know that Dragapult wins the matchup against the 
Aegislash, Slash, though. Should we, we should be okay. Anyway, we just click EQ here. This damn Toxapex always finds its way back to full health. That is why I hate these damn things so much. There's two things I hate in life. Rotom Moe's and Toxapex. <laughs> Alright, so the EQ happens. Doesn't quite knock this thing out because we're not banded. If we were, it would have been great. This thing's just going to Toxic. And there is nothing that can save you now. Which is why I feel like going hyper offense in these 3v3 battles is probably the way to go. Even though Toxapex is a great Pokemon, there's just usually an answer for it. You could definitely play it well, but more of a hyper offense guy myself. So we'll see if it wants to Baneful Bunker here. There's really no reason to. It just kind of is going to prolong the experience here, but... Yeah, we should, we should still be okay. This man rocking the stock beanie. Honestly, I like it. This boy be looking kind of fresh out here. Looking pretty, pretty stock, but you know. All right, Darmanitan. Let's see what you got, buddy. Grab yourself a kill. I feel like using Galarian Darmanitan really just guarantees you. Guarantees you kills. All right. Down goes the Toxapex. All that is left is going to be that Sword and Shield. And it is time to see if this thing pulls out the late game Shadow Sneak and gets a critical hit and knocks me out. Then you just you deserve you deserve it because <laughs> there's no way he wouldn't have clicked Shadow Sneak against Dragapult earlier. All right, so he just slash sitting at above half health. We just have that EQ though. Let's do it, Darmanitan. Let's do it, buddy. Gonna give you a nice little earthquake kiss with them snowy lips. The battle music be getting intense as hell too. All right, so yep, yeah, we're just gonna go first. Earthquake happens. And uh, that is going to be a dead Aegislash. So we're able to finish off with yet another win. Not too shabby, boys. That was a good battle. Belliper actually still performed very well again. All right, so the clean 2-0. Your boy's ranking up. We are not going to check the team. But we are going to quit battling. Does it, it doesn't show you your rank up until like the next time but we got some points and you love to see it so that is going to be the end of today's road to master ball rank session hopefully you guys enjoyed um, maybe you learned a little something anyway leave a comment if you are enjoying this series i'm having a lot of fun doing it it's just kind of a nice switch up um, from regular 6v6 battles at least while people get the opportunity to kind of have more time to build teams uh, being able to get more people to, to battle against is going to be great but for now i'm really enjoying uh, doing this series but yeah, don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed it. It's actually really helped out my channel. I've been getting a lot of support in the likes and comments from you guys, and I appreciate it. So I will see you guys next time. Peace out.